My name is Rohit Mishra. I work as a managing director with Starkey Technologies. We are the manufacturers of the hearing aids. We are driven by the vision of Mr. William F. Austin in America, who believed that every child is unique, who believes that every child must get an opportunity for the self-respect, for the dignity and the contribution he has to make to the society. He believes together we can make a brilliant change in the society. Together we can do much better than an individual can do. Keeping that in mind, I realize that the disability that we're dealing, the hearing impairment, has got a lot to be done and addressed. So when I was in US and I went to Australia, I went to some of the education institutions, some of the early intervention centers who were providing these therapies, who were providing the solution and rehabilitation and the early rehabilitation for the children who were suffering with these impairments. Coming back to India, I realized I did not find even one which matches the standard of any of the centers I had been to in Australia or in US or in UK. And that gave me a reason to come back with a conviction to open something better. Because every child deserves equitable opportunities. And we were not getting those opportunities. So idea was to bring the same facilities, the same intervention, the same kind of services or probably better because Indian child does not deserve any less Keeping that in mind, we came up with the idea of listening ears. Listening ears is one intervention center where we handle and we provide assistance to the children with hearing impairment, children with learning disability, children with autism spectrum disorders. It can be multiple disabilities, but we have got a team of audiologists, AVT experts, ABA experts, occupational therapists, most importantly, psychologists and a normal teacher who will not only tell parents how to look at the situation objectively and practically, but also counsel them that it is not a good idea to ignore. It's not a good idea to wait. The best idea is to run fast so that we can help the child catch the bus that he had missed or he might miss. Have a certain disability might come with a comorbid situation which means he might have a need for additional assistance through some other specialist. It might be a special educator, it might be an audiologist, it might be an ABA specialist, it might be an occupational therapist, a psychologist. There are multiple things that each of them can add in terms of dimension of the development of this child while he is looking forward to integrate himself to the main line, to the mainstream. Occupational therapy profession, it revolves around the term occupation itself. For children, the occupation for them is primarily to be able to play, to be able to go to school and meet the classroom demands. So any deficit uh, caused at the time of birth or even during their developmental early years or even due, due to any neglect in the family can lead to certain delay in the age appropriateness of their developmental skills. They may not perform what is expected at their age level. So we as occupational therapists, we identify and we address the level of the child, why a child is particularly not performing in a particular way and we intervene their developmental skills. We want them to be functionally independent in their daily life. Speech language pathologists play a key role in maximizing the communicative abilities of children with special needs. The first three years of life are considered as critical years as during these years the maximum amount of development for the higher functioning happens. The various kind of disorders that speech language pathologists assess, diagnose and intervene are Children who cannot speak clearly or cannot speak a specific sound. Children who have a problem in maintaining the flow of speech or fluency like stuttering. Children who are not able or have some kind of voice disorders like harsh voice or inappropriate pitch of speech. Also children who have any kind of oromotor problems like problem in swallowing, chewing or any kind of sensory issues. 
also the speech language pathologist deals in development of language that is the reception that is the understanding of language and the expression of language the various kind of language disorders that a speech language pathologist deals with is autism attention deficit disorder or any kind of syndromes Special educator work as a teacher for special children. So they work with other professionals and the family members to write an individualized education program, IEP, for who are struggling academically, socially and personally. So assessment, instructional plannings and the therapies are the duties of this particular position. Special educator work with the children who has behavioral issues, learning disability, hearing impairment, autism, etc. We use the holistic techniques to use such students. Uh, we work on short term and long term goals according to the current functioning level of the child. And we share these goals with the parent too. And we monitor, we evaluate and accurate the progress of the child. Psychologists basically work with the parent as well as with the kid. So basically what you require to do with the kid are the various sort of therapies that you can provide starting from the ABA that is Applied Behavior Analysis in which you basically uh, promote the what is the you know good behavior in the kid and you basically decrease what is the harmful behavior for the kid through various techniques that you apply the operant conditioning and various things. The detection and intervention of the hearing loss before six months of age leads to better improvement in the child than intervention after six months of age. So newborn hearing screening has become universal in all the hospital. So children with hearing problem being identified at much earlier stages. At listening years, we have a variety of equipment and a sound treated room as per the guidelines given by Rehabilitation Council of India. Reported by WHO, most of the population by 2020 in a geriatric population and in the childhood have a hearing loss, going to have hearing loss. To stop that or to basically to prevent that, we have a tool called autoacoustic missions or we can say early detection. Early detection can be done using OE or auto uh, ABR, automatic ABR. Basically, autoacoustic missions tool, what we do in that OE, we try to take the responses from the outer hair cells which is located in the inner, inner ear of the human. Uh, if we are getting the responses from the outer hair cells, it means hearing is perfect. In listening ear, we basically focus in on the early intervention, early screening, early diagnosis. So though for the same, we have a collaboration with uh, collaboration with different hospitals over, over here. And we started the universal neonatal hearing screening. This is just our effort, is just a step we are taking because in Delhi, in North region, we don't have universal implication till date. So we are trying to do that and uh, it's a small step and what we did basically in Saigal, in the XYZ hospital, a different hospital in which we collaborated, uh, we have a, including the, included the our hearing screening in the basic test like vaccination and all. So it's become a package. So every child have, have to go through the autoacoustic emission so we can diagnose as early as possible so from that we got a lots of child which already we already give up help and intervention at listening years we empower parents because parents play a very important part in the development of the child because the child stays with the parent for the rest of the day they come here for therapy for 45 minutes one hour two hour or three hour but for the rest of the hours the parents need to know how to deal with the child whether it's an autistic kid or it's a kid with hearing impairment it is very essential for parents to know the needs of the child and know the functional level of the child so in our session what we do is we guide parents and counsel them to work with the child at home. We give carryovers to the parent as well. Our, the empowerment happens when we involve our parents intensely during our therapy sessions. And so the parents are given the freedom to observe the sessions, ask questions, discuss about their child's improvement, and also give their valuable feedback to us. Up to eight children per 1,000 live births have been estimated to have hearing loss. These early years of life, that is 0 to 6 years, are the most important and critical in terms of cognitive, social, emotional, physical development of any child out there. So a child who struggles to hear may also struggle to learn to speak. They underachieve at school 
and also end up being socially isolated. So at listening ears, we do early intervention. Early intervention involves identifying and working with these children who are deviating from normal development. And this is the mainstay of listening ears. Tahur was diagnosed with a hearing loss at the age of 2.9. So she was fitted with a hearing aid and then she came here to enroll her in listening ears. So we, her, we enrolled her in intensive therapy program. So initially when Tahur came here, she was only vocalizing. She did not have any true words or real words. She was not able to produce any sounds. And the intensive therapy program is a program where we work like intense uh, attention is given to each child. Sunday and Monday, Monday, Thursday and Friday, and then the Saturday, days of the week. Right, 12, 12. My son, thankfully, by God's grace and uh, guidance from right people at the right time, is now being mainstreamed to a reputed school of Noida. But it was not like this from the very beginning. He got diagnosed at the age of around 18 to 19 months with bilateral sensory neural hearing loss. And once the things are diagnosed, you have to start with a very, very rigorous therapy. The second important thing is acceptance. You have to accept it. It is difficult. It is very difficult to accept. But please don't waste time. We did that. We, we did not compromise on the therapy part. We got delayed in diagnosis, but we did not compromise on the therapy part. Thankfully, I came to the right place at the right time at the center. And uh, we worked as a team and we went for auditory verbal therapy which is commonly known as AVT and it is basically a parent professional partnership program it's not only about what the therapists are going to do it's about what they are going to teach you how to do with your kids and uh, we came to listening ears here I found a very very supportive and cooperative team and the best part of the team was that they were very receptive. They understood my child. They understood his psyche. And they guided me in such a supportive way. It's not only about the professional guidance they gave it to, they gave it to me. It was about the personal support also. At that time, I was like, I was devastated. My family was devastated. I can't, I mean, no one was there to support. But it was only listening ears who really supported me who boosted up my confidence, my morale, who believed in me and my son. And because of this all only, today I can proudly say that my son is going to a mainstream school. So don't be disappointed. If the child is wearing a prosthesis, if he is listening through the prosthesis and not through his natural ears, he is listening, he is speaking. So just understand it, just make it your way of life and just go ahead because life is beautiful and the sky is not the limit for children. Hi, my son's name is Dabir. He's four years old. He's a bilateral cochlear implant recipient. When he was around six months old, we came to know that he has profound hearing loss in both ears. It was a shocking for us because there's no one in our family who has hearing loss. The whole family was saddened. It took us a while to believe it that he cannot hear us. Then later on, 
we were thinking what to do. We, then we found out about cochlear implants. Then the surgery followed when he was around 1.5 years old. After surgery, the most important and the challenging part of giving him the speech therapy started. We went around various centers, but uh, around for a year, there was no significant progress in his speech. His audition was a bit improved. He could hear us. He was responding to some environmental sounds. He was responding to his name, which was a big milestone for us. Then, but every day there was a kind of feeling which I had that this something is not right, something is missing. And so I started searching for a better place. Then we found it about listening ears. It was very important for us to give him the best speech therapy because we belong to a place where he's the first and the only child implanted with cochlear. The first day when I came to Listening Ears, I was impressed by the program they had. They have a very comprehensive multidisciplinary program and they provide five days regular program uh, to the kids with, who has uh, hearing loss. And, that's, and it's the only center in the whole country which has this kind of facility. And it is a parent-child both related program because here, along with the child, the parent is also taught how to talk to your child, how to continue the therapy which is being provided in the class at home. Then uh, one more uh, thing which fascinated me was they have four different teachers for in each area of the therapy. It ha they have overall program. They have one specialized uh, therapist for speech, one for language, one for audition, one for cognition. And that's where I decided that this is the best place for my child for his speech therapy. Then. The after, after we joined uh, Listening Ears, after a month, I noticed a drastic change in him. My boy, who was speaking no words before joining here, he started naming fruits, vegetables, animals. It was kind of surprising for us. From then onwards, every day was amazing for us. His progress went up so high that we couldn't believe our ears. That we started to feel like we are talking to a normal kid. We sometimes we tend to forget that he has hearing loss. Then the months passed by. After around six months of joining listening ears, he started. Uh, his word level came to two words. Then he started uh, talking in three words. Now, Alhamdulillah, it's almost been ten months now. He's talking to us in a sentence level. He, uh, his language is comprehensive now. I can talk, he can communicate his daily needs very well. He, like basic, uh, he can ask me if he wants anything from the fridge, if he's hungry, if he wants to sleep. It's so easy for him to communicate now. And I feel it all happened because of listening ears and the, the therapists who are here for the uh, extraordinary work. Since the day one I've joined here, I felt like a family here. I'm grateful for them, for their cooperation. They're always ready to answer my endless questions. Their support is really enormous. Bed and? Where are we going? I'm Arivi's mother. He is uh, eight years, nine, uh, nine months old. And uh, he has moderate to severe loss. And uh, he uh, is uh, doing very good. Now we were here uh, with Listening Ears team September 2017 to May 2019 and uh, in that period he did very good, uh, he, uh, we got very good response and uh, after that uh, now he is going to mainstream school. My name is Irish Sharma. I have it year old. My father name is Amit Sharma. My brother name is Shuram Sharma. I have one sister. Her name is Nandini Sharma. क्या हूँ बताऊँ मैं सब ठीक ही चल रहा था स्टार्टिंग में तो मैं और मेरी वाइफ वर्किंग थे तो मालूम ही नहीं चला मतलब कभी ये सब हो गया तो 
धीरे धीरे फिर स्कूल में ज्वाइन कराया उनको वहाँ से शिकायत आने लगी कि आपका बच्चा सुनता नहीं है बात नहीं मानता अलवारी में से चीज़ें फेंक देता है और इधर उधर घूमता रहता है फिर हम बुलंदशहर से नोएडा आए वहाँ पे दिखाया एक इंस्टीट्यूट है वहाँ पे दिखाया हमने तो वहाँ पे मालूम चला कि ये ऑटिज़म है बच्चे को स्पेक्ट्रम हो गया तो मैं और शीतल ऐसे हो गए बिल्कुल कुछ मालूम ही नहीं क्या हो गया बहुत देर तक रोते रहे पूरी रात ऐसे ही निकल गई दिन ऐसे ही निकल गया और मालूम ही नहीं चला मतलब क्या करना है क्या नहीं करना है नेट पे देखा और जितनी भी जान पहचान थी सबसे पूछा तो फिर यहाँ पे रेफर किया लिसनिंग ईयर्स में तो अभी मुझे हो जाएंगे 40 45 क्लास हो गई हैं यहाँ पे तो यहाँ पे काफ़ी अच्छा रिजल्ट है मतलब ठीक लगता है अब मतलब नींद भी आने लगी है प्रॉपर <laughs> जैसे रात में तो अब सेटिस्फेक्शन है कि हाँ लेकिन ये है कि बस जो मुझसे गलती हुई मैंने जब ही ठान लिया था कि मुझसे गलती हुई है तो मैं मतलब अपने बच्चे को ठीक करूँगा टीवी मोबाइल सब मैंने रख दिया था एक अब जाके मैंने टीवी लगाया मैंने मैम से करा था डिस्कस के इसे दिखाऊं तो मैंने अब जाके टीवी लगाया थर्टी मिनट्स में दिखाता हूँ उसे कार्टून हाँ करो और नोज पेंच पापा की नोज पेंच मैम तनिष्का बेटी है मेरी फर्स्ट टाइम वो एट मंथ की थी तब मुझे पता चला कि वो सुन नहीं सकती है कंफर्म नहीं था मैंने टेस्ट वगैरह कराए तीन चार महीने हो गए मुझे उसको दिखाते हुए तो उस पर कन्फर्म हो गया कि वो नहीं सुन सकते मैं उस टाइम में इतना दुख हुआ था मैं रोने भी लग गई थी मैंने मेरा साथ छोड़ दिया था उस टाइम पे किसी ने मेरा साथ नहीं दिया था मैंने हिम्मत करी उस टाइम बाद टेस्ट कराने के बाद मैं लिसनिंग एयर्स में आई मुझे यहाँ पे कीतिका मैम मिली उन्होंने मेरी बहुत हेल्प करी क्योंकि तनिष्का की थेरेपिस्ट है उन्होंने मुझे इतनी हिम्मत दी मैम आज मैं इतनी ट्रेन हो गई हूँ कि मैं अकेली उसको लेके आती हूँ हाँ मेरी बेटी इतनी हो गई है मतलब इतना चेंज आया है उसमें काफ़ी चेंज आया है अच्छे से बोल मतलब कोशिश कर रही है बोलने बोलने में मुझे उम्मीद आ गई वो बहुत अच्छे से बोलेगी नॉर्मल बच्चे की तरह हो जाएगी स्टार्टिंग में मैम उसका इम्प्लांट हुआ था थोड़ा मशीन निकाल के फेंक देती थी तो जैसे तैसे मैंने उसको आदत डाली तो हो गया अब अब ऐसी इतनी आदत डल गई है उसको कि वो मशीन में ना रह नहीं सकती है बैटरी लो होगी तो बोलेगी मम्मा नहीं आवाज़ नहीं आई अब इतना अच्छा लगता है मुझे थोड़ी खुशी होती है आगे भी उम्मीद है वो बहुत अच्छा करेगी मैम पिंक कलर स्टार ओके और ये क्या है बेड पे क्या करते हैं वेरी गुड आई एम हेयर टू टॉक अबाउट माई जर्नी माई सन रोहन ही इज टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड ही इज डायग्नोज विद ऑटिज्म वेन आई केम टू नो आई वॉज प्रेगनेंट यू नो द जॉय हैप्पीनेस एवरी थिंग वॉज यू नो ग्रेट एंड द प्लान वॉज दैट आफ्टर माई सन ग्रोज अप टू थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड ही गोज बैक ही गोज इन टू स्कूल एंड आई गो बैक टू माई टीचिंग करियर राइट दैट्स द प्लान normal things but uh, by then uh, the diagnosis happened and uh, i could see this the end cupboard on my life you know everything came to a stand stand still career ended slowly slowly friends slip away social life slips away and uh, it's basic human nature to go into a little bit of a depression it's basic human nature to think why me why this has happened you know uh, what did i do oh no uh, you know my life is ended what's going to happen now um, uh, but uh, you know that this journey changes us in many many ways it makes us more compassionate strong no doubt it makes us hugely and fiercely strong and it makes us uh kind it makes us understand human emotions for him i have to be his advocate and what is the first thing that we need to do is um here i would like to stress upon is uh the role of early intervention right so uh though my son is 10 years old now uh, just see his graph going swoop you know i mean i i'm not an expert but when we did meet with the experts when we did you know do do the counseling when we did put him in therapy i could just see so many positive changes i would just urge parents that please don't be an ostrich don't put your head inside the sand and think are you know 
इट इज वो ठीक हो जाएगा यू नो ओवर टाइम ठीक हो जाएगा एंड यू नो पुश हिम टू गो टू रेगुलर स्कूल यू नो डू दोज थिंग्स बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू दिस इज अ मैराथन इट्स नॉट अ स्प्रिंट यू नीड टू ब्रेस योर सेल्फ यू नीड टू पेस योर सेल्फ यू नीड टू रन फॉर द आई मीन यू नीड टू रन फॉर एवर okay there is no finishing line for this and you you are there and your your son is there your child is there with you and uh, so please brace yourself for the long haul and uh, do the early intervention is my message for you uh, today is harsh's cochlear implant so chon day so today his uh, implant will be activated for the first time and he is going to hear for the first time through the cochlear implant he was fitted with hearing aids when he was 1 year 3 months old and they have been and taking auditory verbal therapy since then today he is 2 and 2 years 6 uh, months old and uh, today is his activation day try very nice Shh. try good come on high five acha high 10 high 10 yay very good and good hush good wow very good good मैम जब ये नाइन्थ मंथ का हुआ था ना तो उसके बाद एक्चुअली इसका नाइन्थ मंथ में हार्ट का सर्जरी हुआ था तो जब सर्जरी हुआ था तो थोड़ा ज़्यादा केयर करते थे हम इसकी आवाज़ भी लगाते थे ज़्यादा क्योंकि उससे पहले हमको लग रहा था कि तो सब कुछ नॉर्मल है तो नॉर्मल बच्चे की तरह ही क्योंकि इसके सारे पहले भी टेस्ट हो चुके थे तो इतना ध्यान नहीं दिया फिर इसका जब हार्ट का सर्जरी हुआ अपने पास बिठाना मतलब मोस्टली एक डेढ़ महीने तो अच्छे से तो हुआ था तो आवाज़ लगाते थे तो ये रिस्पॉन्स नहीं करता था तो कुछ टाइम तो हमको ऐसा ही लगा कि ये थोड़ा वीक है इसलिए नहीं करता है पेरेंट्स ने भी मतलब मतलब दादा दादी ने भी बोला इसको कि थोड़ा वीक है इसलिए नहीं शायद करता है तो हमको एक दो महीना हो गया तो फिर हमने सोचा कि ये इतना वीक भी नहीं है मतलब कान में आवाज़ तो जानी चाहिए ना तो फिर हम इसको हॉस्पिटल लेके गए तो वहाँ उन्होंने ओ का इसका टेस्ट हमने वो पुराना वाला रिपोर्ट दिखाया इसका तो वो हमने कहा कि सर ये नॉर्मल है तो फिर इसको रिस्पॉन्स क्यों नहीं कर रहा है तो वहाँ मैम ने बोला कि इसका ओ का टेस्ट करा लेते हैं उसमें क्लियर हो जाएगा तो वहाँ इसने रिस्पॉन्स नहीं किया बिल्कुल भी वहाँ डॉक्टर ने बोला कि ये सैलेंट दिखा रहा है तब नहीं समझ में आया कि क्यों सैलेंट दिखा रहा है फिर उन्होंने बैरा बैरा के लिए फिर से बोला कि बैरा कराना है इसका फिर तो बैरा चले जा नहीं देख सकते हैं फिर रिपोर्ट हाथ में आई बहुत टाइम समझने में लगा कि ये क्यों हुआ हार्ट का भी इसका हो गया उसके बाद भी फिर धीरे धीरे चलता रहा प्रोसेस तो इसको डेट मिला था नवंबर का हार्ट का ऑपरेशन का फिर हार्ट का ऑपरेशन हो गया उसके बाद हमें इसके कानों का पता चला फिर कानों में भी बहुत टाइम लग गया समझने में सोचने क्या करें थोड़ा कॉजमी ज़्यादा थी वो भी नहीं करा सकते थे तो फिर हमको हमने यहाँ लिसनिंग एंड में सुना कि यहाँ चल रहा है साहब कि बाहर से मशीन आती है बच्चों की हेल्प करती हैं पेरेंट्स की हेल्प करती हैं फिर हम यहाँ मैम से मिले तो उन्होंने बोला कि थेरोपी के लिए फिर हमने लगभग एक साल तीन महीने का था तब इसको ये मशीन लगी थी फिर धीरे धीरे करके टाइम हो गया डेढ़ साल तक ईयर रिंग चला इसका उसके बाद उसको बहुत अच्छा रिस्पांस भी आया अपना नाम पहचानने लगा बाकी की आवाज़ें जो हैं वो पकड़ने लगा सुनने लगा अपने नाम से तो बहुत अच्छे से एक दो महीने में अपने नाम अच्छे से पहचानने लगा था ये अब तो इसका ये हाल है कि कहीं भी कोई भी आवाज़ आती है तो जल्दी से जाता है और मतलब कुकर की शीती की आवाज़ आई तो जाएगा तुरंत बंद कराएगा बैल जाए बैल बजेगी डोर बैल बजेगी तो बोलेगा मतलब जाएगा देखने भी फ़ोन हम इसे छिपा के रखते हैं अगर किसी का कॉल भी आया तो पूछेगा कहाँ से आ रही है आवाज़ तो अभी बहुत फ़ायदा हुआ है इससे 
और अभी इसका इम्प्लांट हो गया है तो अब देखते हैं हेलो आई एम शाफिया आई लाइक टोनी मोन आई वॉन्ट टू पिक एम पोली वेन शी फर्स्ट केम टू लिसन इयर्स शी हैड नो लैंग्वेज और कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स शी वॉज डायग्नोज विद हियरिंग इम्पेयरमेंट एट द एज ऑफ टू ईयर्स एंड शी वॉज फिटेड विद हियरिंग एड्स एंड फॉलोइंग विच शी वॉज एनरोल्ड फॉर इंटेंसिव थेरेपी आफ्टर वन एंड हाफ मंथ्स ऑफ डेडिकेटेड थेरेपी शी अटर्ड हर फर्स्ट वर्ड नो दिस वॉज जस्ट द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ अर रैपिड लर्निंग द क्रेडिट गोज टू द मदर एज वेल एज शी वॉज वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग आफ्टर टू ईयर्स ऑफ इंटेंसिव ट्रेनिंग नाउ द चाइल्ड हैज एज एडिकुएट स्पीच लैंग्वेज स्किल्स एंड शी हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली मेन स्ट्रीम्ड इन टू अ नॉर्मल स्कूल मोस्ट पीपल बिलीव दैट लिसनिंग एस इज गोइंग टू बी द मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव प्रोपोजिशन एंड इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर अ चाइल्ड टू गेट इंटरवेंशन देयर आई वुड से दैट वी हैव फाउंड सो मेनी पीपल विद गोल्डन हार्ट्स हु हैव हेल्प्ड अस टू नॉट ओनली डिस्काउंट द प्राइस subsidize the price but to make sure that we have possibly now become one of the most economical uh, intervention providers in the country when i say economical it's not about being economical in terms of being cheap we are the best in terms of curriculum we are the best in terms of outcome and our outcome speaks volumes about the input that are so blessed brilliant interventionists provide to the child that we work in starkey we have got bell austin who supports the idea and we have this opportunity to make this difference to the life of these children and one has to be so blessed to have a team that the team that i have in, in listening ears they are so brilliant they are so patient i have seen parents losing their patience but i have seen these people my team the interventionist they work like an additional parent they never lose their cool they never lose their patience they are so persistent constant in terms of their attention to the child to bring out the best i find them committed not only towards the children but also towards the parent because they have to counsel the parent and it's important to have a successful center running around the contribution from the team that you have i think listening ears has got the best team in india for the inter- interventionists that we have the idea of listening ears as of today we have three in delhi and three more in bangalore amritsar now the question is not to have just about these six the question is india needs more than 200 such centers it's unfortunate that we have got limitation if i have my way and if there is a support i would like to open 200 because it's not limited to a metropolitan city it's not limited to a city which has got more people it is required in a class b class c class every city because it is not a city centric disability this disability is a cross population we need to reach out to as many places as one can reach and 200 is a number which will only suffice to handle 10% of the need that we have